After much excitement, Horizon Forbidden West has finally arrived and players are wasting no time in once again filling the boots of explorer Alloy, traversing a world filled with both beauty and unimaginable danger. As you can imagine, with a big sequel, there is plenty of new stuff that players have quickly set about exploring. Whether it's battling new varieties of savage machines, or as we'll be focusing on in today's video, checking out the range of secret easter eggs hidden within the massive world of Horizon. Without further ado, let's get into them, shall we? First up, God of War Totems. There's a varying amount of effort the game developers tend to put into easter eggs. Sometimes these are nothing more than a small nod to another game series, or an amusing piece of window dressing that hints at an element of subtle fashion. The God of War Totems in Horizon Forbidden West, however, are far from then a quick reference, and instead take on an entire side quest of their own. It's rather impressive, really, though to an extent I suppose it's to be expected, as God of War is one of Sony's most iconic exclusive franchises. So if you're going to make a reference to it, you might as well go all out, right? The God of War questline involves the player taking Alloy to three different locations, with each journey being an attempt to gather various God of War themed tokens. The first token, located together in the south of the map near a lake, are the Brock and Sindri totems, tributes to the dwarf blacksmith brothers from the games. From there, the player heads to a mountain near Bulwark, a rather appropriate location given that scaling mountains is par for the chorus within the God of War games, where players will find a totem in the style of Kratos himself. With these first three totems gathered, Alloy must finally head out to the outskirts of the wreckage of San Francisco, near the Golden Gate Bridge. After locating and navigating on board of a ruined old bus, the player will discover the fourth and final totem in the image of Atreus. After acquiring the last totem, the player will successfully complete the questline, unlocking Mark of War face paint for Alloy. As you'd expect, this getup paints Alloy in the iconic face paint of Kratos from the God of War series, a fitting reward for fans of the series who have traversed across Horizon's enormous map to track down all of these godly trinkets. Next, touching tribute to Kali. There's plenty of reasons why a game developer might choose to include an easter egg into a project. It could be that they just want to have a bit of fun, throwing in a subtle reference to another piece of media, a wink wink nudge nudge to their fans. Sometimes easter eggs are born through a lone coder wanting to sneak something in without others noticing, making it just a bit too difficult for testers to naturally discover during their work, but something that can be picked up by those who dedicate dozens upon dozens of hours to the game. This next easter egg was included in Horizon for a unique reason of its own, but the motivation is incredibly touching and worthy of discussion. On the western section of the map in Horizon, there is a small island lined with rows of paint and candles, and upon reaching the top of a hill, Alloy can interact with a memorial to trigger a small cutscene. The cutscene includes the Horizon protagonist taking a seat on the hilltop and beginning to read the aforementioned note, which comprises a eulogy for some unknown figure that the player has not encountered. The note discusses that the place is somewhere to remember our friend, who was our oak, sturdy and strong, and whose branches touched us all. The scene ending with the memorial wishing that this figure gets to rest in peace. As you can imagine, many have speculated over who exactly the memorial is for, with the initial impression being that it was dedicated potentially to an in-game character, but it has actually been confirmed that now the memorial is a tribute to Patrick Munich. Munich was a lead producer at Guerrilla Games until his tragic passing in 2019 at only the age of 44 years old. Munich worked with Guerrilla Games for a little over eight years, so the eulogy and the rest of this easter egg as a whole is designed to be a tribute from Guerrilla Games to a beloved and much missed member of the studio's family. Moving on, Ghost of Tsushima Not. This next easter egg isn't really much of a quest and it's actually completely possible that you'd miss it entirely if you aren't paying attention. With its Acting as a subtle nod to another of Sony's blockbuster titles in the shape of Ghost of Tsushima, in Tsushima, one of the many side activities that players can partake in between cutting down foes on their quest to free their home island is following the occasional Inari fox. Unlike many of the other animals in Tsushima, the Inari fox is unkillable and acts as a guide for the player, taking them down winding paths and eventually leading them to shrines that yield rewards, such as money or resources. It's also 
also possible to pet the foxes, which is obviously one of the best parts of the entire experience. One of the developers of Horizon must have enjoyed this aspect of Tsushima because whilst traversing the world with alloy, it's possible to stumble upon an unkillable Inari fox. Just like how you can follow these foxes when playing as Jin on the island of Tsushima, you can be led to a hidden shrine if you follow after the Inari when playing as Alloy. There's nothing tangible in terms of reward for doing this. There's no trophy or in-game resource given to you for seeing the shrine, but hey, it's a pretty cool little nod to one of the biggest games of recent years. Then there's the sword. The image of a sword embedded within a rock or an equivalent resting place is one of the most iconic visuals in our history. So when Horizon fans stumbled upon a massive stone in a secluded northern area of the map, it's no surprise they grew excited when they noticed the sword poking out of it. Alloy cannot interact with a sword within the game world, sadly, but this is clearly a nod to something, and there's actually been some competing theories with regards to what the image is a specific reference to. Fans of The Legend of Zelda have been quick to make reference to the Master Sword, Link's legendary weapon that is commonly retrieved at some point throughout the various Zelda games by pulling it from a tablet of stone. The more common belief, and likely the correct interpretation, is that this is a reference to the mighty sword Excalibur, from the Legend of King Arthur. As the tale goes, Excalibur is a sword that only a worthy holder can remove from its resting place of stone. I suppose alloy isn't worthy? It should be acknowledged that the master sword from Zelda was quite obviously heavily inspired by the Arthurian legend, so really this could be a nod to both things simultaneously. Alloy also makes a comment upon seeing the sword, noting that its presence reminds her of a story she read from an ancient data point. The use of the word ancient would point towards Excalibur. But in fairness, everything seems pretty ancient in comparison to the world Alloy inhabits. So really it's up for debate. Finally, trees. To wrap up today's video, this is more of the secret category as it isn't an actual Easter egg that players can see in the game, but it's something that's super cool and so 100% worth addressing. One of the central themes of the Horizon games is the blend between nature and technology, with Alloy and the various tribes that inhabit her world having a great reverence for the beauty and power of the natural elements. In Zero Dawn, we learn that the reason the world is the way that it is is down to an ecological disaster that is brought about by humanity's lack of care for the environment, leading humans to the brink of extinction. So when we play Alloy, we're exploring a society that has been taught the importance of coexisting with nature. It is fitting, then, that Sony partnered with the Arbor Day Foundation and promised to have a tree planted in our own real world every single time that a player achieves the Reached the Daunt trophy in the game. The initiative, dubbed Play and Plant by Sony, is part of the reforestization scheme being carried out by Sony and the Arbor Day crew, which hopes to restore three forests within the United States. As mentioned, players who achieve a specific trophy will have a tree planted in their name, so long as they achieve the trophy by a deadline of the 25th of March. The initiative is going to be in action until either all three reforestization projects are completed or the aforementioned deadline. Though there's a high chance it'll be completed well ahead of the 25th, estimates suggest that around 288,000 trees will be required to complete all three projects, and Horizon is an incredibly popular game that will likely sell millions of copies. The chance to help out the environment should prove as only further motivation for gamers to get trophy hunting. And that's everything. Which Easter egg is your favorite? Have you managed to get the Reached the Daunt trophy yet? Let us know in the comments, and until next time, we'll see you soon.